Oh, just driving back or forth. No, this is a Chevy. Good thing this is a country road so I can stop anywhere I want. But we finally got Little Blue. Let's do a little flashback here. This was just, you know, pushed back in the trees. He just brought it in. He so if you know, we found this Little Blue. It was uh, neglected. Let's just say that. So I, I got it touched up. Got it all. They sandblasted it, repainted it, made it look a beautiful. And I got this little chisel on the back of it. I plan on hopefully making Mrs. a garden. That's the hope. But uh, Little Blue's first job is to chisel the garden. All right. Oh, and two. I got my little Honda 200X here. Hasn't killed us yet, but still running good. So excited I got little blue back finally. Let's get to it. So I'm actually gonna drop off little blue over here by our house, not over here by our shop. Uh, of course, this is where the garden's going to be. Uh, I'm gonna have to basically plot out a little bit of land. Don't know exactly. I don't wanna redo the garden, so I have to make sure it's perfect to begin with, if that makes any sense. Everyone knows that if you mess something up, it's always your fault when you're dealing with your wife's stuff. So, hmm. I'm thinking this is a good spot because, uh, one, you can kind of see the whole farmyard. You can kind of see everything. And it's really close to the house. Uh, I want to make it kind of scenic. I have some ideas. We're going to try it. But this is not leveled out yet. So that might be a problem. I think I might... Uh, get my little roller chiller out. I would just put the ripper down and uh, shank it down, but I think that's a little cheap, don't you think? I mean, when you got you got a roller tool, a garden when you have it, you don't you don't just uh, bring your big uh, shank and ripper and uh, plow through. But first, let's uh, load little blue. All right, raise this up. There we go. Got my old-fashioned little, uh, what is this, a harrow, kind of? A harrow chisel? Ooh, what, what, is it going to touch? It's got the old metal wheels on and everything. Ooh, that's close. Uh-oh. Can't raise it up anymore. And I'm stuck. Oh, oh, I got it. All right. When in doubt, just give it more speed. All right, got it. This thing don't have a lot of speed to it, but uh, okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna park this over here. I think I'm gonna have to m move old GMC a little bit here. GMC, you need to be out of the way. There we go. Park that down there. All right, let's shut off a little blue. Oh, you shut off hard, little blue, but you run good. Move our Denali. Don't want to hit our Denali. Then I need to figure out where my uh, little roller tiller is. That might be a hard thing to find. Don't know exactly where I left it. And I need to feed Buck. There you go, Buck. All right. Where did I leave my little garden tractor? Is it behind here? All right, it's not over here. It must be over in my shop. Let me go grab my little 200 here. This has a real slow reverse gear on it. Real slow. We'll get there someday. Alright. There we 
go. We're good, rolling now here in the little three wheeler. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna kill myself. Here we go. We'll just park this right here. Shut that off. You know, one of my neighbors really got mad at me because I called this dirt bike a motorcycle. I thought motorcycles were dirt bikes, but I don't know. You have to let me know. I always thought motorcycles, the definition is basically a motor with two wheels that's drivable. But uh, maybe I'm off with that definition. You can't. Can you call a dirt bike a motorcycle? Or is that illegal? Is that against the code? I, I don't know. That might be against some man code. I don't know. But uh, I thought it was a motorcycle. It's also a dirt bike. But I might be wrong. Let me know. And also, if you like this, smash that like button. It helps me out a ton when you smash these videos. Trust me, it does. All right, so here is our little 332. Now, where is our little tiller? Yep, haven't put anything up there yet. Can't be up there. Let me walk around my giant metal harvester here that it's not running. Oh, here it is. There it is. A roller tiller got to put a little oil in it it looks like so these things are powered of course all right um, I guess I'll take that mower deck off really quick here and then uh, put the tiller on all right that's unhooked Ooh, let's see can we back it off of there oh, 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 oh. I kind of got caught on there must got caught on that weight they pull it uh, uh. There we go. Put it right there so I could drive back over it. Alright. Move out of my way, sassy massy. Alright, so I'm gonna back this up. We're gonna hook this up to the smallest three-point hitch ever created. There we go. Got a finer pins. There we go. Look at that little cute. So cute, that little three point hitch. Hey, it works. Don't mess with something that works. So, we will take 10 minutes to get back over to our house, but we'll get there someday. All right, let's see if this thing will run. Go. Yeah, listen to all that power. Uh, don't want to get too crazy, so. Yeah, we'll just back it up right like this. I mean, this is the proper way how to mow. A lot less mowing when you just do it this way. Now, I know that it's kind of at an angle. I don't know if I want my garden at an angle. So I think I might borrow a leveler, ground leveler. Get this ground all leveled out, but... I just want to see where we're at after I till it up here. That's the first goal. Wife wants a fairly big uh, garden, so we're going to go kind of, we're going to try to go all out here. We're not going to go small. Don't go small around here, you go big. Alright, oh, oh, oh. Oh, gas pedal is a little jumpy when you're bouncing around. Go. Uh, 
Uh, should we do one more? I think maybe two more. I think, yeah, two more. Oh. Yeah, probably two more. Probably be good. Probably be enough. Let's turn that off because it's loud and we're gonna hurt ourselves. I know, Buck. I know, that was your nice grass hunting field there. Alright, so that is done for now. Park it over here by the wood pile. No offense, John Deere. No offense. That's done. Now I need to figure out some way to level this. I want to level all this land right here. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to be done. I have a plan. Just uh, It's all in my head right now, and I don't want to mess it up. So I think I'm going to go get my uh, 8330. I've got to take the tanks off of it. And I'm going to go try to rent a ground leveler. Just a little drag or something. I can hopefully uh, drag it back. Let's see at least. Oh, got to take these tanks off of it. It'll look weird. Yeah. Alright, gonna take these off here. Just got to get my uh, chain for my overhead hoist and lift these off. Oh, oh, don't want to do that. No, don't tip the planter over. That would be a expensive uh, mistake there. All right, chain them up. All right, uh, got to go get my impact. Where's that at? Pick that up. All right, I'll drill these off here. Take that off right there. All right, now I drop them, and now I got to pull them to the side here so I don't mess them up. All right, there's the tanks off of the tractor. Now, all we have to do is go down to the rental place and pick us up a, a drag leveler, I guess. We don't drive slow around our farmyard. We go speeding. Probably should slow down a little bit. Put on our hazards. All right, we're just backing up into our little uh, drag here. Got to hook this up. Release this for the day. All right, so this has its own hydraulic pump, which I don't understand because it does have hydraulic hoses. So basically these wings, you can fold them out. You don't have to. Well, I guess you do have to. And then it drags and then it runs off a leveling system, a laser system, which that's what I need to make sure it's nice and level. So uh, let's get this back home. Sweet little setup, I think. Works great. It's a lot cheaper than uh, renting a bulldozer. Means we already have that type of power on the farm. Why not just rent this instead, and then uh, I don't need to rent a bulldozer horsepower. Alright, so we're going to go across the road here, and then right over to our house. Like I said, I'm going to basically have to push some of that hill down and uh, kind of use some of that dirt from the hill and then uh, place it down there. So we're gonna have to kind of think about this. I have to go find my my laser, I guess. Get this uh, working. All right, before that goes down, I wanna go get a level here, just so I know exactly where we're at. I think I have one around here somewhere. Where do I put these things? Oh, here it is. 
Alright, so I think I need this one probably about right there. Yeah, turn this on here. Alright, and then this one, I'm going to have to raise up a lot. Get this set here. Hmm, which button? Raise this up. Get this in line. So we want to follow that. So alright, I'm hoping that gets this nice and somewhat level. We don't have to have it perfect, but I don't want it to be too far off here. Let's see what we got. Start scraping here. There we go. Yep, keep scraping that dirt up. Yep, there we go. Big old mound going here. Go, go get that. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we need. We lift it up right like that. All right, we are leveling this now. This end over here is quite the doozy. Lift that up. There we go. I think we got it about where I want it, at least for now. We're gonna fold this up here. There we go, fold that thing up. Park this over here to the side. So uh, now I'd like to go get some uh, of the rocks I picked out of the field the other day. And I'm hoping to use some of them as uh, basically some uh, art here a little bit of art I don't know exactly how it's gonna work but we're gonna use them and hopefully get this all nice and placed out here all right so I'm gonna take this uh, little three-wheeler and I think I got a plan we're gonna have to put our new box we made for our little uh, dump truck or little grain truck it's not exactly made for rocks, but it'll have to do for today because uh, we don't really have any other option. Got to be a little careful. Bumps, I might end up killing myself. So we're going to run over here quickly. And uh, I'm going to have to unhitch this there. And then, yeah, I'm going to unhitch this. Got to jump over here get this jack down there all right now that's unhitched Ooh, can it fit through here let's see uh, uh. all right so we're gonna put this back over here so this truck we're gonna unhitch the basically the tank and then uh, put on our little uh, dump box here and, uh, basically get that backed up just about right. Now we got to slowly lower these jacks down and then bolt it on. Looks like we are good now. So this is basically made for silage, but beans we we're gonna use it today to haul some rocks. I hope I don't destroy it too much, but we will see. Let's drive this out and uh, go get some of our newly acquired rocks we found. We are extremely overloaded. So I borrowed the neighbor's basically payloader to load these up. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna destroy my brand new box I just created for this thing. Wow, am I overloaded. Gotta go very carefully back to the farmyard here. this over here man this international I can't believe uh oh 
think it might be smoking a little bit here. Uh oh. That might be an issue. I'm pretty sure it's smoking. Alright, we're gonna back these up right about here. Raise this bed up. Hopefully these fall off here. Alright, some of them fell out here. Gotta get the other ones to fall out. They're kind of stuck right there. Alright, so we got our pile of rocks. Obviously, we're gonna need a lot more, but we're gonna need some way to push these around. And I don't think Little Blue has it in it. We will uh, bend up its its old uh, little uh, chisel hero here, or the leveler is just too much money and we uh, leased it anyways. We don't want to use any of this equipment. But my neighbor, I did borrow a bulldozer from my neighbor. And basically it kind of broke down while I was using it. And I kind of left it in the weed row over here. Alright. One last try. This thing is being stubborn. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, it's starting up. Oh, oh, yeah, there it goes. Oh, man. All right, so this is a fun little joystick. You got the little joystick here. And then uh, the side to side is your, basically your, the front blade. All right, let's see. This is how you steer it. Oh, 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 everything's still running. Sweet! Wasn't planning on this thing working. Definitely didn't really feel like having to uh, lease another one of these things. I'd already leased enough today. These should move these rocks around pretty nicely, I'm hoping at least. We'll see if we can make this thing the uh, way I envisioned it at least, and the way my wife won't get mad at me and make me redo it go Move that up here push it up oh it's being stubborn there we go might have to get to a little side push here
me more black magic. Don't you give me, don't you give me more black magic. Oh. Alright, so we are roller tilling our garden again. I know we already roller till it once, but I need to make sure we kind of did some ground leveling and uh, kind of got this all set up, put some fence up. I put a gazebo up. Let's go look at that quickly. I'm going to shut this down here. Man, that, that is loud. Roller tillers are not quiet. So I got the rocks set up. So I got all the rocks right here. I do have a few extra rocks. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with them right now. Got lighting set up all around. Got rocks right there. Rocks right there. All the way around. So a beautiful little rockscape. And I got the nice little walkway right here. Going up right up to our beautiful little gazebo right here nice little area to hang out and uh, catch some breeze even got my little rocking chair i need to put up in my gazebo here there we go get that little rocking chair right there get a few rocking chairs back here and just enjoy the garden growing and the breeze and the American flag flying up there what a beautiful day so I'm gonna get this roller tilled and I'm gonna get a little blue up there but thank you all for watching and I will see you later over here in Missouri thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe